What's up everybody, welcome to Tough Guys TV. On this episode, we've got something pretty cool and exciting. I've got a new cordless drill driver, and this is from Skill. If you guys have followed the channel at all for any length of time, you, you know that I've had a rigid set forever. Uh, their cordless drill and their impact driver, and I've had a ton of trouble with it recently, especially over the last year. The chuck has been failing, the batteries have been bad, although the batteries have gotten replaced pretty easy. Um, but the rest of it's been a huge hassle. So I was in contact with a rep from Skill just randomly, and they were willing to send this out for an honest and uh, thorough review. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna check this thing out, go through all the stuff that it can do, and share that with you guys. Um, so far, I've really, really liked it. Um, I haven't used it much here shooting this intro. I've just kind of got it open and set up just so I could shoot this. And uh, like all my videos, I'm gonna go from the beginning through the end. I'm gonna shoot it as I go, and I'm gonna record stuff as I go. So if I run into a, to an issue with it, you guys are gonna hear about it. So here it is, the Skill PowerCore 20 drill driver set. And as always, social media here, if you love what we do on YouTube, go check us out there. It really supports us, the, the more places that, that you guys come and hang out. And as always, let's get started. Here you go. Here's the box that they sent me. I'm not sure if this is like a retail box or if this is just the box that the rep sent me in the mail. But I assume that if you were buying this kit uh, from Skill, if this isn't the exact box, it would be something very close to this. So inside we've got a maybe instruction packet. It does say five-year warranty. Now that's something I think I'd like to research a little bit further myself. Uh, I may do that and then circle back to that later in this video for you guys. So that's the PowerCore 20 lithium. Looks like a two amp hour. And this is one of those cool features. So it has a uh, USB on it. This is not a USB type C, just a regular USB. And you can charge other devices from this. I think that's a neat feature that they've added here that you don't see all the time. Let's see if it has any charge. Looks like it's got a little bit of charge in it now. This is probably a clip for the drill, for like a belt clip. That's the screw that puts that together. There's your screw. And it looks like they give us a bit as well. Hey, that's nice of you. So there is the driver itself. And just initial thoughts, I really like the weight of it. Um, I've, I've held a few recently as I was kind of searching for what I wanted to buy and they just did not feel substantial. Oh, that feels, that actually feels really, really nice. If I could pick up some detail on that, that actually feels really, really nice. Um, this just feels substantial. You've got your uh, switch there for multi-speed and this torques all the way around. And this has got 17 other individual settings as well. Like I said, I'm gonna be putting it through its paces on a few uh, basic projects here to kind of check it out. Other than that, uh, that's what we got for initial impressions of it. It feels good. Everything is grippy. I really like the weight of it. It feels good in my hand. I uh, really like it so far. And last, we've got the charging station here. So it's, it's a little larger for a single station. You know, it's just one, but it does have some features here. Um, with this power jump, you can uh, fuel a battery really, really quick with this thing from what I've heard. So we're gonna kind of just see how that happens to work. I did go ahead and get this plugged in. So now I wanna try uh, plugging in the battery for the first time. And I guess this little clip comes off or cover rather, not clip. And then I assume here the battery is just gonna click into place. And then we've got a couple of lights. Now, now listen, I don't know if you guys can hear that audio. This thing has like a fan inside of it and maybe keeping it cool. Now that's definitely different than the ones I'm used to. And that may have something to do with that power jump where it's gonna it's gonna really rifle this thing up. So we'll see what happens with that. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna let this charge. Now I know everything is working okay. And once I know it's fully charged, then we'll start actually using the drill. While that battery is getting charged up, I wanna take the, the drill here and I wanna get that clip installed. Now I'm gonna put it to where I can hook it onto my right side. And here's the shape of that clip. This thing is super, super sturdy. There's no flex in it. Um, I have no fear that it's gonna wear out over time or get flimsy or anything like that. It looks like you're gonna hook this little tooth into this hole here. And basically you're just gonna line it up to where you can put your screw through right there into the base of the drill handle. I went ahead and fed that screw in there first, just cause it's a little difficult when you're holding it in place. Now I'm gonna set it on there. And a Phillips head screwdriver is what we're gonna use to put, there we go. Tightens down nice and tight. 
and that is going to hold on uh, really, really well to the belt. Um, it, you, you may not want to do this. If you're not somebody that uses a clip all the time, I do in the shop. I always have it. I'm always walking around or walking into the house and it's good to have it on there. So I really like that feature. When you do, now this is already showing as a, as a fully charged battery. That's been on there for maybe, I don't even know, 10 minutes of me here in the shop. So it went from half to full that fast. I mean, we'll have to, to do some tests when we're using it to see if it's actually, you know, working well, but um, let's show connecting this to the drill. And it clicks, tap on this, I'm guessing, and there it pops on there. So that's actually really bright. It's not showing up too great on the camera here, but it actually is, is really bright. And it directs the light up towards the direction that you're gonna be drilling, which is really cool. Um, you do have the locking control, so forward and reverse. And then if you put it in the middle, it's not gonna let it go off. So if you're throwing this in your bag, you just click that guy over into the middle. And if not, it's ready to go. So your speed control there, and again, I really, really, really like the way that feels on this drill. Now, I think it might be time to kinda just test it out. What do you guys think? Let's do it. All right, for this next step, we've got the battery charged up and we're ready to do some testing. So I've got a bunch of stuff set up here on one of the workbenches. Let me show you what I have set up. We're gonna try a bunch of various stuff. Like I said, we have the battery charged up here. Let's take a look. Fully charged. Everything is good to go on that. And I've got a few different bits. I've got this super long bit. Um, I've got a longer bit that's really thin. I've got just a large, like a half inch wood drill bit. Got a paddle bit here, seven eighths, just grabbed one out of the kit. I've got some masonry bits that actually happen to be from skill. So I've got a brick, I've got an old two by six, and I've got a four by four block clamped here. So we can basically just try to run each of these a little bit and see how they work. This is the best way I could think of to, to kind of test out everything here for you guys. First thing I'm gonna start with is I've got a half inch masonry bit. This is from that skill set that I have, half inch bit. We're just gonna try to drill <clears throat> one big clean hole through the brick. And I just wanna see how it does, like how does the battery degrade after just going full steam all the way through this. It would be rare that you're probably ever drilling a hole that large in the brick anyways. So we'll start with that before we move on to the wood. So we've got that half inch hole all the way in the bits all the way through there. Um, let's take a look. So it's still showing completely full after doing that. Now I had that on a one. I didn't have that on the high speed. Um, so that's pretty impressive. I feel like uh, other cordless uh, drills may have ran down after that. That was uh, quite a bit of work. I had to push pretty hard to get that in there. Um, so that's pretty cool. So I may go ahead and run another one on setting two just to see how it does after two. I'm actually gonna show this one more time on speed two because it absolutely just destroyed that brick for the second hole. I did a time lapse, I thought it would take longer. Still at full battery. So check out how fast this went through here. So you can credit that to the bit or to the drill itself. But the speed it keeps, I mean, it just absolutely destroyed that. It was awesome. And check on these again here. This turned out really good. All of them super clean. And again, you can credit that, I guess, partially to the bits. Actually uh, did really well. And this held up just fine. Still on a full battery. So I'm going to move over to the wood stuff now. And I think for the 4x4, I want to just go for this, this big guy here. And I want to see if I can just run some holes through this way, straight down through the top. Um, and we'll check the battery in between and see how it's doing. Again, still on full battery. I am gonna have this on setting one. This thing is so big, I don't wanna blow it out first. This 
still showing full. So I'm gonna put another couple holes and see how we do. Thing is super heavy in there but you know it seems to hold up really well I've had cordless drills that I've tried to use this bit and it just it doesn't even start at all so two of those through and we're still at full so let's do one more and it looks like we finally knocked off one one uh, bar there on the battery. So, so far we've gotten one down, three holes with this big ass bit and the three holes in the brick over there. So let's move on to some other stuff to see how far we can last. I actually did a few extra drills and uh, <laughs> this one actually ended up splitting. So I got one, two, three, four, and then five out of this one. And I actually just did two more in this one here and uh, I didn't record all of it here. I, I shoot video for other things too, so I was kind of shooting it as I went. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total uh, with the large bit. And let's check this really fast. I think we've ran down a little bit. So yeah, it's actually half right now, so half. So again, seven with the large bit, and then I've got three holes here in the brick. Um, it's a pretty, pretty hefty amount of work. Um, you have to, you have to get this thing going pretty well to get through the four by four block here. And you can see I've made a giant mess. So I'm going to switch over and see if I can run the battery all the way down. And then we'll do a, a, uh, a comparison on getting some battery juice back in this thing. Battery juice. Is that what you say? Probably charge is a better word instead of saying battery juice, but Hey, We'll throw that on the charger and uh but before we do that let's do some more more drilling here into this two by six and see if we can run that battery all the way down we'll start with that half inch bit and uh for these i'm going to run them on two. Oh, and just to confirm it's still on half Oh, got a flashing light. Now I think I read that when this LED flashes, the battery might be too hot, but it doesn't feel hot. Let's keep going. Yeah, so there's a flash in there. So I don't know if it's the battery is too hot, but maybe that's what's going on with it. I'm not really sure. I'm going to give it a second so I can try to back this bit out. Yeah, I'm plugging it. It doesn't feel warm or anything, so not really sure. All right, so we got six holes drilled with this and still showing two as that seven eighths paddle bit. Checking again, still says two. Um, let's try to get three more out of this. And that thing just eats right through there. Uh, hats off to Irwin on that. Let's see, still showing two. Um, let's switch back to, not switch back. Let's try this long bit. Just cause it's a little bit odd, it's longer. I wanna see. You're pilot drilling some holes for a piece of furniture. All right, so again, so it's still showing two, so we're doing pretty good. All right, 
we might be getting close. I've got a ton more holes here made in this, kind of Swiss cheesed it. I don't know what that disorder is where people don't like <clears throat> holes and stuff. That's probably not good for you, so sorry about that. But anyways, so we've got the skill here. Let's see. So I've got it down to one. Now the camera shows a little bit of bleed over there, but that's actually just on the first one. So just on a one bar left. So I figure what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try to drive some screws into this until I can get it to die and uh, just see how far I can get. I'll get some inch and a half coarse thread screws and just start driving those into this or into this four by four block and just see how far I can get until it's totally dead. All right, we've got no shortage of screws here. So this is what we'll use. Just these coarse thread drywall screws. I'm just gonna drive them in to the wood and we'll see how far we get. So again, one bar. I'm gonna leave this on two. shows one the LED light is still coming on and it still seems to be operating just fine this thing still has just one bar left on the battery I am just gonna start drilling holes and the rest of that wood and see if I get it to, to just totally die so I can test it on the charger. I have put about 50 screws in that thing. I'm not gonna keep doing that. So I thought that would kill it. It's still got one bar left. Uh, let's just drill a bunch more holes. All right, we are back at the brick and we're gonna see if the brick can break the battery. That was, that was horrible. It's got one bar left. And I'm gonna do this on high speed. One bar, switch back to the bigger bit. Oh, did I do it finally? Did I finally kill it? Oh no! Oh, might have done it. Oops. Let's give it a second. I think that might actually be it. Let's try uh, if I can fit one more hole in here. warning me yeah I think that's it I'm gonna call it I don't want to hurt it so the next step is get this thing on the charger and we'll show off how long that takes to get it uh, fully charged with that uh, power jump technology it's got going on okay I've got this thing over here on my workbench now it's all plugged in and ready to go and just to remember where we were here we we're down to one remember that shows that second light but it's just one bar and it's barely functioning. So let's take a look here, 1045. Let's plug it in. It's gonna kick on and it has a little fan that pops in. So I'm not sure here. Um, charging, charged, here we go. And it's showing a little bit of a flashy light there. So again, 1045. So I'm gonna check this in, let's say 30 minutes and we'll see how far it is, has come along because I feel like that's pretty fair. So let's do that in 30 minutes, I'll be back. All right, I am back. I'm like a minute or two late, 1117. That fan literally just stopped as soon as I was on here. I don't know if it picked it up on the video, but I think it's fully charged. That is insane that it picked it up and that it's fully charged. So that's pretty cool. Take this off. Yeah, and it's showing fully charged. So 32 minutes from totally dead to fully charged is, is pretty amazing in my opinion. So 
we'll see over time how that holds up, but I mean, that's, that's pretty awesome. All right, I wanna make sure I try to test out this whole thing that the battery can charge another device. So I have my iPhone lightning cable. Now I'm gonna take the battery off of the drill. I don't know that that's necessary. Um, on the back side here, there is a little tab and you pull that open and it'll show an old USB port there. I say old because it's not a USB type C. And we've got an iPhone 10R here that can charge uh, obviously with that lightning cable. So let's use this to see if we can uh, register a charge. So we'll plug this in there. And then let's go ahead and plug in the phone. And initially here, it's not gonna do anything. If we wake it up, see, it's not gonna be charging at all. But if you press this little button right there, then it starts delivering the charge and this phone's already completely charged up. But you can see there, the little lightning bolt symbol showing that it's being delivered the charge. Now, I don't know how much this draws, you know, from the battery. Um, Unfortunately, I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and let my phone run all the way down and then, and then see how much it's delivering, but I know that it's charging and that's pretty cool. I don't have like a voltage meter to test it or anything, but the fact that you can do this is really cool. I do wanna see if, so it's on the drill and it looks like it's still working. Yeah, it is still charging. So even when it's on the drill, and the drill is being used. It's still charging the phone. I don't know how safe that is, but I'm just gonna, I don't know at a scenario why you would, you would be doing something like that, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. So the whole battery charging feature does work. And then you just press that button to stop delivering the charge. There it stops charging. And then if we press it again, it starts charging again. And there you go. All right, so I shut all the lights off and shut the door here in the shop to show off the LED really fast. I wanna make sure that we detail that. So I wanted to show was that you have a really good point of light when you just, you just tap on the trigger and the light will come on. And the point of light, if I'm directly above my drill bit here, it actually shine, shines really well. And it gives you really good light to see what you're doing. So I just kind of wanted to show off that it's just a tiny little little LED, but the amount of light that you get in complete darkness is actually really good. All right, I think that wraps up our review, at least initial review of this uh, Skill Power Core 20 uh, cordless drill driver. Uh, we've got the battery back to fully charged and Overall, I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, I've also been using it kind of in the background, like before I shot this video, I did some basic around the house stuff with it, you know, just using it as a cordless screw gun inside. And just overall functionality, it feels really good. Um, the weight of it's really good. The light is really good. Um, it shines directly onto, you know, where you're drilling, which I really like. Um, the chuck feels nice. The speed control's great. My only real gripe with it is that there's nowhere on here to store a secondary bit. And they've got this little spot here. It's like a loop. I don't know if maybe they could modify this and add something in there later. I've seen some models, um, at least just searching online, where they have like a, a piece that clipped up here where you could store extra stuff. So I don't know if maybe that's something they could bring back. But overall, um, I really like it. It's, it's a great, it's a great screw gun and compared to one, the ones I've been using, uh, the rigid ones for a long time, they've had a lot of issues. So it's nice to have something new to use and to rely on. And then that 30 minute battery recharge was crazy. That's really awesome. So uh, overall, I really do, really do enjoy this and I hope that you'll check it out. They're running some sales and stuff. So I'll put some links in the description also to their website, also to social media here. And if you're interested in hats or anything like that, our website is also now live. So it's just toughguys.tv. That's the site, go check it out. And we'll be selling hats and we'll do some shirts here soon and stuff like that. If you guys are interested in buying it or let me know what you might be interested in and we can make some new stuff. So anyways, thanks so much for watching. Go check out Skill and see you guys in the next project.